Hey everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to walk you through a simple yet incredibly useful process importing your emails from one Gmail account to another. First things first, we need to prepare the Gmail account you're importing from. This is your source account. So head over to your source Gmail inbox and in the top right hand corner click on the settings gear icon and then select see all settings. Next, click on the forwarding and pop IMAP tab. And then in the pop download section, you will need to enable pop access. You can choose to enable pop for all email, or you can enable pop for mail that arrives from now on. Select the option that best suits your needs. Also, decide what you want to happen to emails in the source account after they've been accessed. I recommend choosing keep Gmail's copy in the inbox to ensure you don't lose any emails. Once you've made your selections, scroll down and select save changes. Next, we need to create an app password for your Gmail account. To do this, go to your Google account settings, which you can usually find by clicking on the profile picture in the top right hand corner and then selecting manage your Google accounts. Next, you need to navigate to the security section. And then if we scroll down to two-step verification, which is already enabled on this account, and then if we scroll down to the bottom of this page, we can find the section for app passwords. So let's click on this and set up an app password for our Gmail import. So now let's give this a name and I'm just going to call this Gmail import and then select create. Google then generates a unique 16 character app password. Make sure you keep this password somewhere safe and secure as you'll need it in the next step. So let's copy this now and then select done. Okay, now let's switch over to your Gmail account you want to import to. This is your destination account. In your destination Gmail inbox, just like before, click on the settings gear icon on the top right hand corner and select see all settings. This time click on accounts and import and we need to select the option to import mail and contacts. A pop-up window will now appear and in the first field we need to enter the full email address of our source Gmail account, the one you just prepared. So let's enter that now and then select continue. And then we need to enter the password we copied earlier. In the pop username, we need to make sure we enter our full email address of the source account in here. And then we need to edit the server settings for the pop server. And for this, I'm going to enter pop.gmail.com. And then select edit. And we're going to use port 995 and tick the use SSL box as well to ensure a secure connection is used. Okay, now let's press continue. So we have a couple of additional options we can select here. Uh, the first one is I want to make sure that the box for leave a copy of retrieved message on the server is checked. And this will keep the emails in the source account. You can also choose to label incoming messages to easily identify the imported emails and you can archive the incoming messages so that we skip the inbox if you prefer. Okay, now this is all done. Let's select Start Import. You'll then see a confirmation message that your mail and contacts are being imported. The process can take some time depending on the amount of data in your source account and you can close this window and the import will continue to work in the background. And that's it. You've successfully imported your emails from one Gmail account to another. Remember that this process usually performs a one-time import. If you want to continuously receive new emails from the source account, you might want to consider setting up email forwarding as well. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like this video and subscribe for more helpful tips. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions.